Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, I am going to explain the different types of injections. Generally, injections helps to deliver the fluids, medicines and the nutrients into the patient's body. There are various types of injections like intravenous, intramuscular, subcutaneous, intraosseous and intradermal. Before going to this, to this type of injections, first we should know about the layers of skin. First, there is an epidermis. Below the epidermis, there is dermis. Below that, there is a subcutaneous tissues. And under the subcutaneous tissue, there will be a muscle. Generally, the veins are present in the dermis region. First, we're gonna see about intravenous injection. In intravenous injection, we inject medicines directly into the vein. As we inject medicines directly into the vein, there is rapid absorption and will get the response immediately. Generally, IV injection is used to administer saline, local anesthesia, general anesthesia, and also for blood transfusion, chemotherapy for cancer medicines, IV injection is preferred. Coming to the common sites, generally the IV injection is given on the back of the hands, front and back of lower arm, and front elbow etc next comes the intramuscular injection as the name suggests we inject the medicine into the muscle generally the muscle has rich blood supply so there is rapid absorption rate and we can get the response quickly and generally uh, the vaccines and the medicines like antibiotics penicillin streptomycin corticosteroids and certain hormonal injections like testosterone, progesterone, they are given through intramuscular injection. Sites of intramuscular injection are upper outer thigh, area muscle, shoulder muscle and hip region. Next comes the subcutaneous injection. In this, the medicine is injected into the subcutaneous tissue. Generally, in the subcutaneous tissue, there will be more fat and less blood vessels. So, Medicine absorbs slowly and will get the response in a delay and very slowly will get the response. And in this, the injection needle is uh, less or smaller, so there will be less painful. And generally, subcutaneous tissue is usually given uh, in for insulin injections for diabetes and people who use blood thinners, heparin medicine. MMR vaccine, chicken pox vaccine, all these medicines are given through subcutaneous injection. Generally, subcutaneous injection is given on the outer side or back of upper arm, front or outer side of upper thigh and belly area. Next comes the intraosseous injection. In this, the, we inject the medicine into the bone marrow. It is a very, we we'll give very rarely, only in emergency conditions, we will give intraosseous injection. Coming to the sides, it is given in the lower leg bones, thigh bones and upper arm bones. Next comes the interdermal injection. In this, the injection is given below the surface of the skin that is in the dermis. It has a low absorption rate and will get the response very slowly. Generally, the allergy testing and test for the tuberculosis, influenza vaccine, these are given through intradermal route. Intradermal injection is given on areas like inner surface of forearm, upper chest, upper back and in the regions under the scapula. These are all about the types of injections like intravenous, intramuscular and intradermal injections. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.